begin by getting comfortable in your body. Find a position that feels comfortable for you. And as you settle into that posture, allow yourself to enjoy that comfort. This small, simple pleasure of being comfortable in the body. Really enjoy that. With comfort established in the body, allow yourself to relax. If you notice muscular tension present anywhere in your body, gently invite those muscles to relax, to loosen, to let go. Allow yourself to enjoy that relaxation. simple pleasure of letting go of tension. Enjoy that in your body. If you'd like, if it feels good for you, invite a gentle, easy smile to your face. Doesn't have to be a huge grin. Just gently smiling. Allowing your physical body to incline your mind towards happiness. See if you can maintain these qualities in your body for the entire practice period, being comfortable and relaxed with a gentle, easy smile on your face. If any of those qualities fades, simply notice that and take the time to reestablish it, changing your posture to get comfortable again. Relaxing your muscles again. Gently returning a smile to your face as many times as need be. Allow this to be a kind of home base for practice. Without leaving this place, Begin to involve your mind. Take some time to say some kind words to yourself. Anything that you like that might resonate for you. Use your mind and mental talk to be kind to yourself for a few moments. You can say anything that you like, whatever kind words would 
help you to feel love, to cultivate love for yourself. Telling yourself about how you're proud of yourself. Encouraging yourself. Simply saying, I love you. I care about you. You matter to me. Whatever phrases you like. Any words whatsoever are fair game, as long as they're kind and loving. Be sure that you can hear those phrases in your mind. Using mental talk to love. Give yourself love. To whatever extent you can connect to that sense of love for yourself. The extent that you can feel that in your body. Really enjoy it. Delight in this love that you have for yourself. Very good. Now, see if you can extend that love to your easy to love person, whoever that is for you. You can continue to use mental talk if you like, or use visual images in your mind, perhaps imagining them being happy, recalling a memory that you shared with them. Any way of extending love to your easy to love person or animal is fair game. In any case, allow yourself to cultivate love and goodwill for them.
Again, if you can feel that love in your body, if you feel it in your heart, soak that up, delight in it, be nourished by it. Allow that love to fill your heart, your body. Continue to cultivate love for your easy to love person or animal for another moment. Very good. To whatever extent you've cultivated that love in your body, continue to be fueled by it, nourished by it. There's no need to set that aside as we transition. See if you can come into the contact with the suffering of the world. Becoming aware of the vast quantities and kinds of suffering. People that are in bodily pain. emotional pain, mental confusion, difficult circumstances of all kinds. If it helps, you can use your knowledge to be aware of specific situations See if you can come into contact with suffering. We'll be cultivating an attitude of compassion for that suffering. Being aware of it. Being connected to it having the genuine desire that that suffering might be resolved. Not getting burdened by it, overwhelmed, caught in a mire. Visualize the suffering of the world as a black tarry substance sticky and thick, gooey, like oil, allow yourself to visualize yourself inhaling that suffering, taking it in so that you might purify it.
And as you exhale, visualizing it turning into white light, a healing, purifying white light. Let's return to the world. In this process, you aren't hurt by being connected to suffering. You simply transform it. And the world is healed. We maintain awareness of our breathing, the inhale and the exhale. We maintain awareness of suffering, being connected to it, desiring that it might end. We visualize that suffering as this black, tarry substance we take into our bodies and transform into a white healing light, purifying the world of its suffering. This feels complicated or overwhelming. You can simply return to the breath, feeling the breath, the inhale and the exhale, knowing that the breathing process is already this kind of purification or transformation. taking things into your body and releasing them. If it feels available, if it's not too difficult, see if you can add the visualization, using it as a way to cultivate this compassion. being connected to the suffering, genuinely desiring that it might be resolved, ended, transformed, healed. Use this exercise to cultivate compassion.
whatever extent you can feel love in this process. That you can experience compassion in your body as a feeling and force of love. Allow yourself to notice that and really enjoy it. Being nourished by your compassion. Knowing that this is a wholesome form of love and even joy. Of course, while we use this exercise to cultivate the feeling of compassion, the mind of compassion, we allow ourselves to be open to the possibility that this has causal impacts on the world. We are truly purifying the suffering of the world. in a way that might be difficult to see or understand. Letting that be possible. Being willing to do our part.
pretty good. Now, take a moment to look back on this practice period. Recall what it was like for you. What happened in your experience? See if, as you do so, there are any lessons you might discern. Anything that might be useful to recall for future practice periods. Take a moment to remember and consider. And as you're ready, at your own pace, you can come out of the meditation. <laughs>